Oh yeah, it is. Uh, it's only going to be sharp at your uh, least telephoto, and if you telephoto, it's going to be unsharp. So, and we've got the, I don't know if you mean to have the recorder going. That is recording. And this Not much you can do about that. Okay, so the, the uh, volume of my voice appropriate for the video here is the volume of my voice appropriate for the video here. Is, uh, can my, can myself be easily understood? Can the ring around that, uh, that, uh, what do you call it, a lens? All right, so we're going to go to menu. Playback function, view. What the fuck? What in the entire fuck? We seem to have a problem with uh, camera one here. Uh, the initial test was a bit of a failure, so we're trying this again. Um, trying to see if the volume of my voice and the lighting are sufficient. Uh, they appear to be, but I think I'm going to add some more lighting to get uh, get more of the effect that I'm after. Welcome to the next six minutes. Okay, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video and weren't put off too badly by my voice or my terrible air guitar. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello there, and welcome to episode two of What Is It? Try that again. <clears throat> Good evening, and welcome to episode two of What Is It? Welcome to a new episode of What Is It? So, I thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for another episode of What Is It? Um, have a great afternoon or evening or morning or whenever it is you're actually watching this. I hope you got plenty of rest though. something. Good evening, uh, morning or afternoon. This is another episode of What Is It? And a brief explanation of what behind the show is. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll try that again. Hi, welcome to uh, What Is It? that digs deep into the darkest fathoms of my, my deep, deep, deep. 
Welcome to What Is It? It is essentially a show that it just... <sighs> Good day, namaste, and welcome to 2016. Yeah, that last take was awful. Yes, it was, Kitty. It was. It was awful. So we're going to try that again. <laughs> Meow. Got some uh, chili cheese fries going on here. So yummy. Wavy curly fries. A little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a break here to put ponchos on. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's it's right here. Yeah. Yeah. We are switching to umbrellas. Mm. Well, this was certainly an interesting parade, uh, to be sure. Um, you just can't uh, fight Mother Nature when she uh, when she shows up to do her her uh, her stuff. Uh, hopefully, next year will be a little bit drier. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna find some place dry to be now. Okay, so well, uh, thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching the video, even though it kind of made it up a little strange. <laughs> if you all want to see something really weird, I just happen to know this. <laughs> <clears throat> If y'all want to see something weird, and I think this is about the only season this could possibly happen in. If I can get this top off, I'll show you what I mean. I noticed this this morning when I uh, got this out for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are kind of seeing what you're seeing there. Uh, half this volume is a solid piece of ice. It is frozen solid. Yeah. This is a solid block of ice that was once my tea. Um, I don't know if you can see it quite well enough, but there is my Louisiana tea bag that is frozen solid in a block of ice, like uh, like a scene from Ice Age, <laughs> like the the Tyrannosaurus Rex that is <laughs> frozen solid in the ice. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for all this to thaw out here. Um, uh, there's a little bit of tea in the bottom there. My, my alarm has gone off there, of course. Uh, there's a little bit of tea in the bottom there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of this after this is thawed out, but... Uh, uh, I imagine, I imagine I will attempt to uh, drink the uh, now strangely proportioned uh, tea ratio of water to tea. The <laughs> waste not, want not. <laughs> Now, barley just happens to be my favorite uh, 
grain products. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to have an awful lot of fun here. Okay, let me try that one again. <clears throat> Take two. Now it just says, just, no, just, 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 just. Take three. <clears throat> Movie magic. <laughs> That's one entire. <laughs> Let's try that again. You know what? Let's add one more. Let's go crazy. Next, we have our pork. Now, this particular cut you may not be entirely familiar with. It's called the Carnitas Cook. The <coughs> Carnitas Cook. <laughs> Next, we come to our meat. This is our pork. This is the Carnitas Cook. <laughs> Alright, try that again. Now we come to our meat. This is pork. This is called the carnitas cuck. 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 Cut. <clears throat> Next we come to the meat section, and this is, uh, this is called the carnitas cut. For, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this particular variety of, of, uh, of, uh, now we come to the meat portion of our uh, recipe, and this is called the carnitas cut. Now, and now we arrive at the meat portion of our recipe. This is uh, pork, of course, and this is called the carnitas cut. Car, car, car. <clears throat> cut. Cut. Shit. Okay. Last time. with salt and pepper so that's a handy dandy thing to keep note of okay then see you in an hour they can be a little chewy if you like sometimes I like my barley chewy 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 <clears throat> back on try it again Remembering roughly where your bay leaf was to begin with can be helpful ah, in the extraction. Now it's time to eat. And there we are, gentlemen. Our barley dish is done. <laughs> <clears throat> now let's try that again. And there we are. Our barley dish is done. Our nice uh, bits of garlic are... Ugh. Okay, try that one more time. And there we are, light. <laughs> there we go. That's the good stuff. <sighs> Second attempt. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the next six minutes. Uh, you're probably not uh, overly, um, overly involved. Involved? Involved? Is that really a word? <sighs> no. Overly familiar. Hello and welcome to the next six minutes. Um, oh, come on, man. Lord help me. And I'm really hating this video right now because I don't like. I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really liking this. Uh, this right now and. Um, I hope that, that future shows will, will be a little better and easier to produce. I'm not a huge fan of jump cuts and uh, I can just foresee just jump cutting all over the place and I don't like it one bit. But it's something that I'm probably going to have to do in order to keep you engaged and to make me look better than I am in any rough cut, <laughs> any video that I ever make. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to jump cut away, aren't I?
Hi there, and I hope you guys are having a pleasant day. I know I am. What I commonly do, of course, is um, cooking, painting, um, Hello, good evening, and welcome to the next six minutes. Uh, this is a new show. I believe I'm going to be calling it um, Pa. No. Third try, it's going to be working. The show is called Sixth Avenue. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Anyhow, jump cuts are not my favorite thing. However, um, I may not like it, but of course, that's, that's how things are going to have to be. Okay, that's out of the way. So what happens now? That's probably the best. Best. Biggest. They start with the same letter, but they're not the same word. <clears throat> Um, as you can tell, I don't really take myself all that seriously. Anyhow, the question you're probably, uh, come on, no, you're better than that. Okay, um, what happens now? Um, well, uh, well, um, the thing is, um, Or the guy that you know will... Damn it, I always had that one. Okay, okay. I don't even know what I just fucking just said. Okay. <clears throat> well, we can pretty much do it straightforward. Um, no bullshit, no mental blocks, no nothing like that. Start off with saying... Uh, Good evening and welcome to the Avenue. Welcome back to the Avenue. Okay. Hey there, and uh, welcome back to the Avenue on the sixth. This is fifth. This is fifth. Yep. Oh dear. Okay, so we're having a little trouble starting this one off. He's also turned to the American Civil Liberties Union, and they pretty much told him no, they can't take his case. Okay. <clears throat> he says, quote, <clears throat> He says, quote, What I was requesting should have been accepted according to what was written in statute and in guidelines. Hmm. Okay. say this a lot better, can't you? Yeah. We'll start that one again. I suppose there's a lot of different ways to look at this situation, but I really only see it in one uh, way, and that this is a clear violation of his religious freedoms as guaranteed by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Um, as I stated before, this amendment, as well as the Second Amendment, well, any amendment for that matter, is uh, most important to me and yes I see this as a clear violation of that. Um, given that the horns in question as you can see up there um, they really don't hide his face so I don't see much of an issue here. Funny story um, a long time ago uh, I was <laughs> oh gosh <clears throat> Two, three, four. <laughs> and welcome back to Sixth Avenue on the next six minutes. Hi there, and welcome to the uh, to the uh. No, it's not to the uh. It's something else. It's something very different than that. To the uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was a good. That was a good test run. Shake, get that energy going. Get, get it. Okay. Touch your left. Touch your right. Touch your left. There you go. You want 
high energy. Higher energy, I should say. This is going to be funny watching this shit. Waiting for this thing to go to sleep, and it takes its damn time. Well over a minute. Come on. Sleep. 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 Alright, so now we are uh, we're about to start here. Okay, and... <clears throat> Smack! <laughs> hey there, and welcome back to the 6th Avenue show here on the next six minutes. Oh, had to remember that for a second there. Let me try that one more time. I like the way you did it the first time. First time you did something like, uh, hey, welcome to. Uh, <laughs> Holy, now I'm running out of juice. Oh boy. <coughs> Hey. Hey there. Hi. Hi there, and welcome back to the 6th Avenue Show. No. Welcome back to these. Hey there, and welcome back to... Well, pa! You didn't knock that, that shit out of your head. Okay. And one. And two. And three. Hi there, and welcome back to 6th Avenue. You'll get it right. Hi, and welcome back to the 6th Avenue on the next six minutes. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome back to... <sighs> Get it right. Hi there, and welcome back to the 6th Avenue, to the 6th Avenue. Hi there, and welcome back to 6th Avenue on next six minutes. And I wanted to use this... Uh, Hi, welcome back to the 6th Avenue on the <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll try that again. <laughs> we'll get this right. If you were to say I want to put on clown makeup, then I would have sort of an issue because that does obstruct. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's what I have to say about that. I think we got it. Bam! Fucker! Finally. Hi there, and welcome back to 6th Avenue on the next six minutes. I was a little dissatisfied with my very first episode. I felt that I didn't really explain myself very well or go into much detail about uh, who I am and what I'm about. Throughout the 1980s, uh, we can do that a little better. Now, as a young man, I took a particular interest in absorbing about... It. Let me try that. Let that one sink in just a bit. <laughs> okay, let's gonna try one more time. One, and two, and three. Hey there, and uh, thanks for joining me for another one shot. Um, I can do that better. And there we have our mistletoe bottle topper. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Uh, 2007 Riesling here and attach it to the top show you precisely the, the application of the device and uh, there you go yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into it hello and welcome back to the 6th Avenue on the next six minutes presidential presidential campaign, campaign years say campaign years okay <clears throat> Hi there and welcome back to One Shots. This is something that has been a long time coming. I've wanted one of these things for years. Yes, this is a toaster oven. Specifically, it is the uh, Hamilton Beach 31806MX. And it kind of looks like something that uh, came out of Stark Industries. I really like the paint job on this one, so that's a, a 
that's why I pointed this one out. This is actually my Christmas present, and I'm about to use it for the first time. I'm going to make some toast. Okay, first I need to plug this thing in. And that is done. Now I need to open it. There we go. I'm not a huge fan of microwave ovens, so I needed something that was sort of on the uh, smaller side. Something that effectively functioned as an in-between. The larger items to cook, like your larger casseroles and so on and so forth, and smaller things like toast. Something that you really can't get effectively with a microwave. Alright, closing her up. Okay. Now, according to the instructions, I need to set this to toast. The toast function there. To a lighter toast function. I don't expect to get this right the first time, so there will be a little bit of experimentation in order to find out what is the optimal operating procedure to producing the most awesome slice of toast. I can see the element heating up now. There's a bit of condensation. On this, uh, on this side here, so it is operating. Now both elements seem to be glowing their respective shades of orange. So the temperature at this point is in the 140s. Yeah, I look ready. And the bell sounds. And we are Just a little on the, just a little on the dark side, but not bad for a first run. So I kind of have a baseline to work with as far as what is uh, the right amount of time and what isn't. So this was a very successful first run, and I hope to be making lots and lots more awesome toast in the future. Well, thank you for joining me for another one shot. Uh, have a great week.